I was born and raised here. Um, like with the when I did the tour drive, you know, I understood most of the kids. You know, I never really grew up maybe mostly having gifts or anything because you know we, we we wouldn't live in the best situations. And every time we would go eat out Burger King, even my older brother would say that he hated sharing a meal. Like he never got his own meal. He never got his own fries, burger, and a drink. Like the drink would always like shared between all of us. And the fries between uh, the kids and the burger between like him and my older sister. So it was really, I mean, I mean, he, he's the one that got to experience more. I got to experience a little bit, but, um, you know, I still got the, the sense of where he comes from, you know. I'm not saying I came from the streets or anything like that, but, you know, I definitely did come from, you know, poor family and, you know, growing up and and sharing beds and, you know, I barely even got my own room at the age of 21. I had still shared a bed throughout high school with my little brother, which was which is really annoying, but um, you know, I'm just grateful where where I'm at. You know, blessed. I went to go talk to the you know challenging kids that you know that have a lot of stuff going on and stuff like that. And a bunch of them were there because of fighting. And I told them, you know, like my gym's there. Like I won't charge you guys. Like you know, because I just want to help out people, help out you know, especially kids and teenagers. What what school is this that you're talking about? Where is it? Did a uh, San Benito Positive Redirective Center. It's for like kids that like. You got invited to speak over there. Yeah, and um, yeah, they're like from six to twelfth grade, and a bunch of them started reaching out to me on Instagram. Oh, how do you boxing? That you know, how do you do this? And I started sending them videos, and you know, at least at least if I motivate one or inspire one or two kids, then damn, you know, it makes me feel like. I did something. Do you ever feel Do you ever feel pressure to live up to being a role model? I mean, you're really young, but you got a lot of people looking up to you. Do you ever like? Does it ever get get to you like the pressure of, of that? To be honest, no, because I feel like it just it just comes out so natural that I'm not forcing it. I'm not forcing it. You know, I'm not being forced to talk to the kids. I'm not being forced to, you know, be nice and and try to reach out to the kids and text them back and and you know reply to them. It just comes off natural. What's the workout today? Today, uh, I was gonna, I wanted to run, but I don't like, I don't really want to exhort myself to put myself in those conditions where I don't need to be, you know, I don't need to run for what? And, you know, sleep and get injured, so, you know, I'm probably just gonna take it easy. But once that bank kicks in, you know, I'm gonna want to go hard and spar and, and do all this other kind of stuff, but, yeah, for now, I just want to do a little light training at the Fabric Glass Deer Blinds. este cabrón si Dios quiere campeón mundial muy pronto créanme pega duro con eso se nace con esos tanates que tiene y con el favor de Dios campeones del mundo uh. I, I feel 
like what's gonna make me different is my boxing ability and then once people get to know me I feel like my personality is uh is really different from, from a lot of people. Just that just that heart I have, the, the the balls that I have, you know, to to never wanna lose, to always, you know, be real competitive, my power, the my body shots, you know, basically everything that, that makes me a boxer. All the bells, but it's up to you. Doing things right. And I always stay humble. Always, always. I talked about it with my team. We seen footage of the champion. Um, you know, we've, we've done our homework, and at the end of the day, you know, I feel like I can, I can be the next sport champion of Westaco and Ardwy.